Hi, today I want to talk to you about the Emergency Safety and Security Grant that HUD recently announced with a grant due date of March 27th, 2024. So this year, HUD has stated for the Emergency Safety and Security Grant that they are going to prioritize funding small housing authorities. <clears throat> uh, 70%, 75% of the 2,700 public housing authorities nationwide are actually small housing authorities. And HUD is saying that small housing authorities have 249 public housing units or less. So what they want to do this year is use that same uh, calculation to award that same percentage of ESSG awardees um, to small housing authorities. So this year is the absolute best chance and opportunity that a small housing authority has in winning a ESSG grant award from HUD because HUD this year is prioritizing funding the smaller public housing authorities. So I want to highly encourage the smaller housing authorities who historically believe that the larger housing authorities always win the grant and they don't stand a chance of winning the grant because they're so small. Well, this year, there is no excuse to apply. Please apply because HUD is stating verbatim in the grant announcement that they're prioritizing uh, funding smaller housing authorities. So they want to do a similar distribution of awardees based on the distribution of public housing, uh, small housing authorities. So 75% of the 2,700 public housing uh, authorities are small public housing authorities, and that's the distribution that HUD wants to use for the ESSG grant this year. So just for a reminder, the ESSG grant, you can win up to $250,000 to serve uh, your amps. So you can include in your application one amp, two amp, three amps, as many amps as you have. It's uh, to your benefit to actually include one amp per application per year. Because once that ham has been given the grant award, it cannot be given the grant award again. So the ESSG grant has two arms. One arm is for ESSG equipment. So you request the grant funding to purchase safety equipment for your housing authority. Safety equipment is defined as security cameras, fencing, lighting, uh, deadbolt locks, doors, windows, any security feature that will aid in deterring uh, drug activity and criminal activity at your public housing development. The next arm of the grant, these are two separate uh, applications under the same ESSG umbrella application. The next arm is ESSG carbon monoxide. And carbon monoxide, uh, the carbon monoxide arm will allow you to request up to 250,000 to purchase carbon monoxide uh, detectors and smoke detectors as well. And also uh, the cost to install it and any auxiliary um, expenses like uh, taxes and, um, and, and those things. So just remember that you can request up to $250,000 for either the equipment grant or the carbon monoxide grant. You can only win $250,000 in one year. So if you submit two applications, the total of both awards will equal $250,000. So just remember that. So I always try to encourage our clients, if they want to maximize their grant awards, to apply 
uh, for one and request the maximum based on need, of course. And uh, the next year to apply again, request the maximum for the other one or another AMP or development and request the maximum based on need.